All right. Well, from uh, daily market changes to, at least in the interest rates, to now uh, we're going to move to some forecasts. Let me grab that. Right. And, and those talk about rates and how it's affecting affordability. Um, mm -hmm. You know, to quickly summarize, we're going to look at two. One's kind of short. Um, one's from Zillow. Uh, another one is from uh, a Moody's article that you had pulled up. And uh, I, I, if we listen to that audio on uh, on Yahoo Finance, if that's where we go with it. The funny thing about that is that one is pointing one way, the other one's pointing the other way, and then yeah. at, the end, at the end he says, "Yeah, but it's a it's a tough time to be a seller and to be a buyer. It's just a bad housing market, whatever that means." <laughs> so you know, again, we're delivering data. Uh, doing our best to decipher it. But sometimes, even, right now, even the experts are having a hard time deciphering it is the conclusion of all, all of this, what we're going to go through. Well, I'm going to read the cheery one from Zillow. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll pop over to the Moody's and, and get some of that. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and read Zillow home prices to fall in these 123 housing markets, while 780 markets will go higher in 2023. Uh, and right, the, we talked about this uh, sort of asterisk uh, when we talk about Zillow. Uh, you know, they closed down a major part of their business because their price forecasts were very wrong. <laughs> so, uh, but they do have a lot of data, as you said, Darren. And uh, let's let's take it for what it is. This comes from Fortune.com. Uh, this summer, the U.S. housing market entered into a sharp slowdown that only intensified last month. On a year-over-year -year basis, new home sales and existing home sales are now down 17.4% and 20.2% respectively. While single-family housing starts and mortgage purchase applications in July were 18.5% and 18.4% below levels they hit a year ago. Simply put, one-fifth of housing activity just got shaved off. The sharp contradiction in the U.S. housing market, something both the National Association of Realtors and the National Association of Home Builders are calling a housing recession, has economists rethinking their 2023 housing forecasts. On Thursday, Zillow became the first real estate firm to use the sour July housing data to readjust its outlook. Over the next 12 months, Zillow now predicts that U.S. house prices will climb just 2.4%. That's down from the 7.8% it forecast just a month earlier. Uh-oh, I just got blocked. Go ahead and talk. <laughs> <sighs> well, but I, I, I keep saying this, I feel like a broken record, but it's still mm -hmm. predicting a climb. It's still right. predicting a positive movement. Right. Uh, so be aware of that. Right. And when they talk mm -hmm. about the recession and the housing market shift, all they're citing to identify that is less volume. So that's uh -huh. twenty percent less volume. They just pointed out they didn't say lower prices. Right here, let me try to find it somewhere else. Let's see here. Damn pop-ups. Let's see. I feel like we got what we needed out of that. Maybe yeah, we roll yeah, into yeah. the next one. Beautiful. So uh, let's go to Moody's. Let's see. Um, these 183 housing markets could soon see home prices fall 20%, Moody says. So it's got a map there showing percentage of overvalued market. In I think there was a video the on this one. Do you have that video, Joe, the Yahoo Finance video? Um, I don't. I did not pull it up. No. So I'm not sure where it is in all this. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead here. Uh, Back in May, Moody's Analytics Chief Economist Mark Zandi came to fortune with a bold proclamation the U.S. housing market was entering into a housing correction. Through the summer, Zandi said U.S. housing activity would plummet. As it did, Zandi said home prices in bubble, bubbly markets like Phoenix and Boise would begin falling. At that time, Zandi's prediction was dismissed but many in the real, by many in the real estate industry. Housing bulls thought that tight supply and favorable millennial first-time homebuyer demographics would continue to propel the pandemic housing boom forward, despite spiked mortgage rates. They were wrong, and Zandi was right. This summer, housing activity contracted sharply across the board, while bubbly markets like Boise and Las Vegas have already started to see price cuts. 
This week, Zandi let Fortune know that Moody's Analytics was downgrading its initial forecast. Over the coming year, Zandi now predicts U.S. house prices will shift somewhere between 0 to minus 5%. Uh, heading into June, Moody's Analytics expects U.S. housing prices to remain unchanged over the coming year. That baseline forecast assumes the U.S. won't enter into a recession. If a recession hits, Moody's Analytics now predicts U.S. house prices will fall between minus 5% to minus 10%. That's up from June when Zandi told Fortune that a recession would see U.S. house prices fall by less than minus 5%. Uh, let's see. So let's keep going here towards the end. This is a really good article. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. All right. So uh, Mooney's Analytics isn't alone. There's a growing chorus of research firms that are forecasting home prices will soon fall nationally. That includes John Burns Real Estate, Consulting, Capital Economics, Pantheon Macroeconomics, Zellman and Associates, and Zonda. Economist Robert Schiller, who predicted the 2008 housing crash, thinks a greater than minus 10% home price drop could be in the cards. Meanwhile, Fitch Ratings says there's a scenario where U.S. home prices fall by minus 10% to minus 15%. Not every forecaster has turned bearish. Over the coming year, the Mortgage Bankers Association, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, CoreLogic, and Zillow all predict a low single-digit rise in home prices. It's pretty straightforward. As long as mortgage rates remain elevated, housing transactions, how home sales, will remain sluggish. Home prices are a different story. While home builders investors might be more inclined to cut prices, average Joe sellers will resist doing so. There's an emotional element. Sellers don't want to give up on the number in their head. Not to mention, a solid job market means sellers aren't desperate. All of that seller hesitancy, coupled with uncertainty surrounding inflation and the broader economy, explains why so many forecasters remain split on the trajectory for home prices. And that's kind of our point here, right? We're all split <laughs> on the future. Right. And <laughs> I can't tell you, I, I would, gosh, I, I, I would venture to say at least 50%, one out of two, maybe more mm -hmm. of the people that we start working with mm -hmm. in, the, in maybe the past six months, I characterize it. Um, that's funny. I didn't pick that up the first time. The first thing they say to us, well, I'm not desperate. I'm not in a hurry. I'm, yeah. I, I'm patient. That's like, we're hearing that yeah. consistently. And that is yeah. the lingo, yeah. both from buyers and sellers. And that's why we're kind of in this neutral. Nobody feels desperate. Nobody has to make a move. People and maybe investors do if they have money tied up or if they're paying and, you know, on a vacant property. But if we're talking traditional buy and sell, um, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's like, all right, well, I have my standards and I'm going to wait until I find and I hit those standards. Man. Yeah. That, that's a yeah. very good characteristic of the market. That sense. Yeah. 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 At the end there. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, right. Yeah. We were just talking to some new clients and uh, they've got six months at a nice uh, Airbnb out in Marina del Rey. And uh, yeah, they're holding on to their cash from another sale. And uh, yeah, no rush. Oh, and all sincerity, I love it. Uh, of course, yeah. you, you think, you know, as an agent, great, you're desperate. You're going to buy something. Let's go get this thing in escrow. Uh, it's, it's a much more pleasant transaction to navigate it with, you know, yeah. Full feet on the ground, paying attention to what's going on. I mean, you got to move fast. There are elements of competition yeah. that make you make quick decisions. Right. Um, so, and and we were dealing, we were talking about this the other day with another another client, and that is that those who are coming in early and really absorbing the data, absorbing <laughs> market conditions, getting an understanding, a really good understanding, right are in a great position because they're not desperate, but they are ready to move quickly because they've created comfort in the market. They understand yeah. it so they can move quick when the time yeah. is right and, and they're inspired to do so. Well, that's the thing, right? There's a lot of good news for, for, for buyers, um, even though interest rates are up and, you know, for the ones that can't afford it, um, there's great negotiation, hopefully going on for, in terms of contingencies and, and other things, uh, that we can really excel at, right? And shine, uh, whereas we couldn't necessarily before. Um, 
and the and the dream house is here. Yeah. The inventory is growing, and yeah, it is good news for buyers. I think for sellers, the harder part is just uh, is becoming, and we're 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 dealing with this uh, mm. reconditioning a seller in that yeah. you know it's the the house might not be sold a week or two. You can stay yeah. strong and still expect to get your price um, yeah. because that's holding up, but it doesn't mean <laughs> it's going to happen like instantly. Uh, and yeah. for that, certainly. Matter, even we have to be reconditioned as agents for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I told you I was reading a story and yeah, you know, definitely uh, days on market has gotten longer and it's continuing. Uh, so yeah, we all need to be patient. Yeah. And again, uh, as you just said a moment ago, those those that really pay attention, that really care, that are committed, that have mm -hmm. good follow through will shine. <laughs> It's, it's when a market shifts, agents that are experienced and, and knowledgeable uh, are revealed to be uh, more successful in those times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good news.